Hello everyone, I am Boiler and I welcome you to this short tutorial where I will show you how to get Terralift download and working for Minecraft Java 1.18. Yeah, so Terralift is a data pack that will uh, give you some really awesome terrain generation uh, for your Minecraft world. Um, I have done two videos about this if you want to see what Terralift does and how it will affect your gameplay, you can go and have a look at these videos. I will obviously put the link down into the description. So uh, if you want to get Terralift for yourself, uh, I would recommend you go to uh, Planet Minecraft. I will obviously put that link into the description as well. And then you will be on this site here. Um, and to download it, you have two options. You can just download the data pack, um, which will basically be uh, Terralift with a fixed seed, so uh, every time you uh, generate a new map, it will basically be the same map uh, because you cannot change the uh, seed for Terralift within Minecraft itself. So that is just the uh, standard version, basically. Uh, but you can also get the uh, random seed version down here, uh, which is a version where you can put in your own seed, but you will also have to do that outside of Minecraft uh, because it works the same as the other one. Uh, you cannot change the seed from the uh, Minecraft menu. But I will download both versions and just uh, show you how you get these. So uh, first we'll download the uh, normal data pack here. Just click on that and it will obviously tell you up here that it downloaded it. Um, then uh, we can go to our downloads and you will see we have Terralift version 2.a.12a in here as a zip file. You just leave that here. Don't do anything with that. Just leave it there. And um, then we'll get the other one as well, just to show you. So we will go uh, click and uh, and click on the uh, random seed version here. It will tell you that it will leave uh, Planet Minecraft. It, this is okay. Just continue. And it will take you to this side here. So Terralift Seed Fixer. Now here you have three options. You can enter your own seed here. Uh, as you can see, I already tried a few here. Uh, or you can leave it blank for a random seed, so it will just generate a random seed for you. Or you can get one of these seeds down here that uh, have been generated either by the creators of Terralift or by other users that have downloaded seeds from this site. You can also go to show all seeds or you can click on seeds up here and you will have uh, a site where you see all the different seeds and you can see the uh, Stardust uh, curated ones up here are basically the ones that are recommended but you can get any of these seeds that you see here okay so that's that uh, for our uh, demonstration here we'll just put in some random seed uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine why not so we'll just put that in and uh, yeah that's basically it you click on download and it should uh, again tell you that it downloaded Terralift up here. So uh, we go back to our uh, download uh, folder and we have now two versions in here. We have the vanilla one basically, which well basically both are the same, but this one has just a baked in seed that's always the same. Um, that is basically chosen to show off Terralift as best as, uh, as possible. And this one is the seed that we just put in here and it's very nice. It uh, does show the seed in the file name actually, so you do see uh, which Terralift version that you downloaded is which seed. Now, if you want to try different seeds for Terralift, this is the only way to go. So you, uh, if you want to try different seeds, you cannot enter these in the Minecraft uh, menu when you create a new world. You will have to go back to this site and enter a new seed here or get a random seed and download a new version with that seed baked into the data pack. You cannot change the seed in Minecraft. So every time you want to try a new seed, you need to download a new version of the Terralift data pack with that seed baked into it. So that's uh, how we do it. But as you can see, it's very easy. I mean, just uh, skip out of Minecraft, enter a seed here, uh, download that version, it takes a few seconds, and then you can go back to Minecraft and use that, uh, which is what we will actually do now. So let's uh, go to Minecraft. And then uh, once in Minecraft, we'll go to a single player. And in single player, you just, uh, as usual, uh, create a new world. 
Uh, now, I will make that creative and normal. So, uh, in, normally you would say, okay, more world options, and then you will put in a seed. You will not do that here. Um, you will go to uh, data packs, and you see this folder here is uh, empty on the left side. So, we need to put um, the TerraLeft data pack in here. Now, to do that, you just tap out of Minecraft. Get your turtle if uh, we'll just use a standard one here. We obviously can't use both, so uh, we'll take just a standard one because I know that will show you some cool uh, turtle lift terrain once we load in. So we take that and you drag it onto your Minecraft, and then in Minecraft you just drag it into the available space over here, and it will ask you if you want to do that. Of course you want, and then you just move it over here, and this is how it should look. You have turtle lift on top, and then the default. Uh, data pack on the uh, on the bottom here. So you need both of these in here. It will not work if you if you do this. It will not work. So you need both of these in here. And then you would just say done. It will validate. And uh, yeah, if it validates, okay. Then you can uh, start your world. I will just give that that a name here. So uh, Terra test for example. And just a quick check. Everything okay. So yeah, create new world. And it will uh, ask you again if you know what you're doing. Of course you do. You have watched my video. You know perfectly well what you're doing. So uh, yeah, we'll just wait for that to load in. Uh, this process here will take longer than it normally does because TerraLift is more complex than vanilla Minecraft. So the world needs longer to generate. It also needs longer to update uh, or generate new chunks. And it will take more resources to run at the same frame rate. So it is more resource hungry than vanilla Minecraft because the world generation is just that more, uh, that little bit more complex. So uh, we should uh, see something any moment now. Yeah, and we do. And as you can see in the down left corner, we uh, get a little greeting message from the TerraLift team. And yeah, this should be this should be terrible if we are in the Yellowstone biome, if I uh, recall correctly. So let's get rid of the UI. And yeah, immediately you can see what Terralif is all about. Uh, if it <laughs> if it manages to generate, which uh, as I told you is a little bit more resource intensive than normal. And as you can see, we already get some really cool mountains over there and some really beautiful landscapes here in the. Uh, Yellowstone biome with all these colored rocks and stuff. So this is really beautiful. I really like TerraLift. But if you want to see more about this particular seed here, uh, then you go and watch my first TerraLift video. You can also watch my second one where I explore a different seed. And yeah, if you like that, go and uh, and do that. And yeah, uh, if you like this video and found it helpful, then please leave a like below and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet and be back for more Minecraft stuff in the future, or more Terralift stuff, whatever. Uh, I will probably have both for you at some point. So yeah, until then I wish you all the best, have a great time, be safe, stay healthy, bye!